watching the doctor. Hello. It's time for I Should Be Writing number 516. I'm your host, Murr, and I almost have it. Almost. Look at that. Isn't that great? But, uh, hi, how are you guys today? It is September 1st, or if you prefer, March 180 something. Not quite sure what day in March it is, but I'm pretty sure it's still March. But, uh, yeah, I'm messing around with a couple of things right now, and I should be writing hype. Thank you. <laughs> uh, my video is still just like one smidge off. I can't. I will get this. I will. And uh, Numbers Ninja, if you saw the, if you saw the room right now, you'd be horrified because I've Moved a lot of stuff around and haven't really cleaned anything up. But it makes this look better, except for that little hunk over there. But I got, I got skills, man. Or I got self-taught stuff. That's good. Okay, we'll do it. Yes, hi. I actually want to talk about why I'm late today as the topic of I should be writing. If you have something you'd like me to talk about, have feedback or something, I would love to hear it. It's in the chat, which I'm looking at on my phone so my computer doesn't explode. So if I look down, that's why. Post migraine haze under Pope. I'm so sorry, but post migraine haze is better than current migraine haze. I, I know. Uh, Wolfish Indecencies, afternoon, hello, Civil Rose, hey, I'm so glad people showed up because I, I was doing a lot of uh, moving stuff around. And one of the things I want to talk about was ADD and how, I've talked about it before, um, been diagnosed as an adult and haven't really gotten therapy treatment for it. A lot of what I know about it is, you know, what I read, and I try to read widely. There are a couple of good uh, ADD YouTube channels that are pretty useful. But what happened today was I had an appointment at 1015, and I got home and I thought, I've got a little bit of time left. I've got like 45 minutes. 45 minutes is plenty to rearrange the room and make sure that uh, my setup is right and put on makeup so I don't look like shiny and old. This is where the Ron Howard narrator speaks over me and says it was not enough time. So I threw a little bit of makeup on. Pretty happy with, with how this turned out. The uh, green screen is set behind me, no longer falling over. I re realized what was falling over yesterday. I hadn't set the feet perpendicular to actually stabilize the thing. Yeah, I'm good. Background looks good today, thank you. Very glad. But no, I've still not fixed Streambots or Nightbot, so don't put any links in the chat and don't uh, do any all caps. Although I really do appreciate all caps excitement Streamlabs will stop you, or Nightbot will stop you. Somebody, some of these, some of these robots, one of these robots, the robots will, will get us. But the thing is, I, you know, when when you have something about yourself that you think is a flaw, and then you find out that a whole bunch of other people whose head works like yours do the same thing, it's kind of validating. And it's also a little bit worrisome because it's like, so how do we fix it? And I know anybody without ADD is out there going, you just leave five minutes earlier, but the brain doesn't, I don't know. It just doesn't work like that. A anticipating how long a project is going to take is one of the hardest things for me. Can I write a thousand words a day? Yes. Can I write 30,000 words in a month and have it be clean and good to go? 
I don't know. Cut myself a little bit of slack there because, you know, writing involves more than just writing a thousand words. You know, you got to make sure it's, it, it holds together. You got to make sure that you stay true to your outline. And, um, or if you changed your outline, you got to make sure that everything's consistent. So you have to go back and edit, which is what I'm doing on my book right now. No, my book's not done. I said I would try to get it done yesterday, but I failed. Yes. So still uh, recovering from the trip to Boston. It it takes a while. I I had. I mean, this morning I had um, a project I'm on send me, uh, send everybody who works on the project a little sort of how you doing survey. You know, I have too much work and need help. I have just enough work and can't take any more or I'm bored, give me more work. And I chose the middle line. Unironically, about an hour later, I was texting somebody saying, hey, I need help because I'm not gonna get this done in time. Also, I can't meet today. And then I thought for a little while and then I contacted the person in charge and I said, you know what, I lied. I couldn't even tell whether I had the spoons to do all the work. I like to say yes. I like to say yes to things. So, yeah, I can do that, no problem. And I don't have a solution. If anybody else has a solution for all that time management stuff with ADD, I'd like to hear it. Not just time management. You know, I, when, I, when I get a chance to use the bullet journal, I do pretty well with it. It's more of figuring out how long things take to, to just complete. And then always you have to think like, well, pat it on both sides five minutes for distractions or bathroom breaks. And I like the Pomodoro method, but when I take breaks, the thing falls off the rails because I get into the flow and get work done and it's like, oh, it's time for a break. And I get up and I get distracted by something else and go do that. Hey, okay, Cunning. Glad to have you. Um, so yeah, I don't know the solution to this. I'm thinking leaving at least five minutes early for appointments would help. But as for anticipating how long a project is going to take or how long it's going to take me to move years of crap and um sorry numbers ninja not not crap just a lot of stuff a lot of stuff moving a lot of stuff turning a desk around making sure you hook everything else back up it's it's i'm not good at anticipating so i don't know how to do that and this is not much, so much a podcast of, hi, here's a problem and how you can solve it. It's more of a podcast of, yeah, I don't know. If anybody else knows, would love to hear it. Also, I didn't silence my iPad. My iPad's over there. There's a lot of stuff between me and the iPad. If I got up for the iPad, God knows what would happen. Wires would get hit. Things would get jostled. You don't even want to know. So I'm sorry, you're going to have to hear a little bit of bings over there. But, uh, distraction triggers is a sign of ADD, huh? Hey, Cro-Mag, um, I can't diagnose anything, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's in the description, attention deficit. You just can't, you know, you, you get distracted and you're like, oh, I'll read Twitter for two minutes and then an hour goes by. I'll check my turnip prices and Animal Crossing and then I've terraformed an entire third of the island. It's not easy. I've been playing with time blocking more when I need to get work done. Thank you for mentioning bullet journaling. I need to get my September setup done. Yeah, I need to do that too. Um, Working on my September setup right now. Maybe we should have done a bullet journal uh, party. Although, I've seen how the bullet journal YouTube people... Well, number one, I've seen how artistic they are. I'm not artistic. No one would want to see 
my very sad bullet journal pages. They consist of a word at the top, then a list. No colors, no flowers, no shapes. I even bought stencils, I haven't used them. Yeah, um, and they also have like really neat camera setups to where it looks down on the journal and not at your face. Which would have been great because makeup was a problem today. Keeping it simple, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it's not supposed to be an art project. That is true. Um, get sucked into my projects and forget to do anything for eight hours, including eating. That actually is also a sign. That's a hyperfocus, they call that. Um, I basically train my body to eat lunch around two or three because I would be in the groove at noon and keep going. And then someone told me, I didn't know this, someone told me that ADD medicine is an appetite suppressant. So when I got on ADD meds, I focused better, but I still didn't eat on a regular basis, so I don't know. Everything's so much more efficient on the computer. Never actually follow online calendars to do you know what. I just function better with analog. Lose the journal, forget to update it, repeat. <laughs> oh, you, you forgot buy a pretty journal, the start of that cycle. Yeah. Been doing that with cross stitching proje pro uh, projects, forgetting to eat dinner. Forgot to eat dinner the other night. I'm sorry. Yes, hyperfocus is a sign too. Again, I'm not a doctor. But um, the thing is, it's different in adults because clearly we have managed, most people, I guess, have managed the want to run around the room because you can't focus on anything problem. So the signs of adult ADD is a lot different than in children. So it's kind of like you you think that these problems you have are a moral failing and then you find out that it's pretty much something a lot of people have and there's a brain thing behind it. And the dog has come in to investigate. Good, good. Yeah, get back here and get stuck with me. Good, good. Dog visit. ADD deals with being unable to regulate focus, whether it's not being able to focus on things or focusing way too hard on something. Yes. Google article everything you need to know about ADD and is wrong. Best description of adult ADHD. Oh, I see. The article is everything you know about ADD is wrong. So I thought you were saying if you Google about AD, adult ADD, you won't get any information. I'm like, I think there's some out there. Uh, and I'm sorry to bring this up on my writing podcast because I wanted to talk about writing, but this is one of the things that, that hurts my writing or actively stops me from starting. And like right now I have, as I said yesterday, uh, in the, I do a lunchtime AMA on Mondays. I, the book is done. It's like got to start. It's got a, it's got an ending. It's fairly consistent. There are some little things I want to go in and tweak, and then I have to export it from Scrivener to Word, and then um, export from Scrivener to Word, and then clean it up in Word because I'm not very good at the export function on Scrivener, so it always looks a little weird. Um, should probably look up a tutorial on that, shouldn't I? Anyway. And I thought I could get that done in a couple of hours, and I've been spending a couple hours a day, and it's not done. And I can't tell you when it'll be done. I know it's soon. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, good. Streamlabs is just talking to itself again. AD is different in men than women. It's supposed to be for social reasons rather than biological. Interesting. And something affects the writing, so yeah, it is worth a discussion. Yeah. It's just, it's just funny that time management is something that you could create tools to do, to fix, to help. 
but figure out how long things take, even if you've been doing it your whole life. No. And the pandemic thing is absolutely no help because it's, um, the concept of a day is different. You know, I, I, I intend on practicing my violin. My lessons are on Monday. I blink and it's Friday and I haven't practiced at all. I don't know how that happens. I don't know. Um, gotta go for a meeting today. Thank you for dropping by, Truck Poetry. Was glad to have you again. Um, next next uh, stream is Thursday, same time. Hope to see you then. And that goes for everybody else, whether you're leaving or not. Um, I asked the Discord if they wanted anything to talk about. Awesome. Okay, so a nice day motivational kick in the ass. I've been fighting some depression lately and trying so hard to still write. Really, really want to write. I have scenes playing in my head. I'm excited about the story. Can't make sitting down and writing happening. Um, this is not something I've tried, but I did do an episode recently about how I don't know if there's a connection, but my new interest in live streaming has happened at the same time as me being able to really focus on the book again. I'm like excited about creating. So the difficult thing would be to find a new project, find a new thing to play with that you don't care about. And that doesn't have to be something absolutely new, like a new medium, like I'm trying. Write some fanfic. You know? Last night I wanted to write Ms. Marple, Ms. Marple fanfic because um, there are like a couple of lines in, uh, I think it's a Caribbean mystery, where Ms. Marple's talking about these books her nephew gives her and how they're all about sex, but everyone's upset about sex, and they talk about it a lot, and that certainly didn't happen when she was younger, and I'm like, well, yeah, well, you were all prudish and stuff, and it's like, and the next line is, there was certainly plenty of it, we just didn't say the word, and I'm like, holy crap, Ms. Marple was just like, well, Miss Fisher, I think, I think they are connected. They both solve mysteries. They enjoy sex positive lifestyle. So I wanted to write like Ms. Marple's early years when she's just like having fun with the boys in town and solving mysteries. Then I realized it's more that that is Miss Fisher. So I, I stopped that. Also, I have other projects to do. My point is what you're doing right now is you're telling yourself there's this important thing I have to do. And I gotta do it. And it's time to do it, Brain. And Brain's like, no. Distraction is a legitimate mind hack. And I'm talking about good distraction. Um, there's like, so, so work on something that's new and you don't care about. No one's going to see this fanfic. No one's ever going to try to put this crappy cross stitch on a pillow. Just. And I think that kind of tells your creative side that it's okay. When I need you to work on this other thing, maybe you'll be there for me because we've reminded ourselves that it's fun by doing this thing that doesn't matter. I hope that helps. It's it's really hard to tell people how to be creative in a time like this. But I'm just trying to help. Um, I'm just trying to 
help people with whatever helps me. Yeah, want to write Miss Marple fanfic. Um, checking the chat. Next goal is to get uh, Twitch set up on my tablet and put that over here so I can read the text without looking straight down. So sorry about that. Um, oh, back to the time. It's been a million years. Uh, been a million years since March. There's time for a million horrible things to happen every day and somehow no time to get my things done. Yeah. Yeah. I recently got my first paid job as a writer. That's awesome. Congratulations, Undercover Dragon. That's awesome. And my productivity is a lot lower than I predicted, likely due to current events. And so, and now I'm additionally stressed out and not making a good impression about that's not helping my productivity. Yeah, um, if you do fun uh, side writing, and writing is your profession, that's requiring a lot. And you're absolutely justified in taking the fun stuff and actually putting that aside while you work on the job. If you have the mental energy for the fun stuff, then yeah. But yeah, you folk, if, if you find yourself too stretch too thin. Uh, you might need to step, take a step back and do the, the ditch digger thing of well, doing the work and then seeing what you can do on your own. Um, being paid of write, for writing is a dream of mine. I'm tired of computers. It's fun, but the... Um, once you're paid for it, other people get to put boundaries on it. And that's fair. I mean, we've seen what happens when authors get so successful they stop being edited that the books get larger and larger and larger. A lot of it is just Being kind to yourself, again, it's so hard. That's why a streamer that I like was saying that it was March 180-something because it really felt like the world stopped. Somebody was saying on Twitter that they uh, couldn't wait to hug people again. And that makes me very sad and grateful that, you know, I have people to hug, a person to hug, had people. But, um, yeah, sometimes I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. Sorry. It's... Sometimes you have to eat the cookie and crawl under the blanket, binge watch something you're really ashamed to talk, tell anybody else that you binge watched, and then try again tomorrow. The key thing here is getting back up and trying again. There's all the Aesop's fables and there's the Richard the Brave. Somebody who watched a spider try to spin a web. And instead of running away from the spider like I would have, he got a life lesson out of it. But, um, yeah, it just matters that you get back up and you try it again. So, I'm feeling melancholy. I can hug you when you come home. Yes, I can. Don't make me cry on the stream. Dang it. Robert the Bruce, thank you. Thank you, Trish. Um, is there anything else people wanted to talk about? Um, 
I've been playing Spiritfarer, and it's, Spiritfarer is a game that's kind of like, it's got crafting and, and, and farming and ranching, but you're also ferrying souls to the land of the dead. So you're crafting on a big boat. And I really enjoyed it, and I played it a lot on Sunday, and then I slowed down because I realized, and, you know, you know, tell me if I'm wrong, people who've played, this is not a spoiler, but I realized there's nothing, it's, it's, it's just kind of a narrative experience. There's no choices. The only choice I made is at one point, a woman joins your happy little crew and wants to bring her sheep with her. And there was another sheep in the paddock. So I brought that sheep too. And she wasn't prepared for that because she said, oh, I'm sorry we couldn't bring the other one. I guess it wanted to stay. And I'm like, it's right over there. That's like the only choice I've made in this game, which I really like games with choices. I love the Dragon Age series. And, I mean, even in Stardew Valley, you can make choices of who to bond with or uh, who to talk to, what, what story bits you want to unlock. But I don't know. I, I think I'll finish it, uh, Spiritfarer. But I was disappointed when I realized there, was, there weren't a lot of choices. Am I wrong? Tell me if I'm wrong. Um... Other gaming news is I was delighted to see that uh, Zombies Run is sponsoring Blazeball this week. It's uh, two of my favorite weird games together. Well, actually not together. Actually, I think there's a Blazeball themed Zombies Run mission. I need to check that out. But um, Zombies, Zombies Run is still a favorite of mine and has been for years. And you can you can play a sci-fi running race or walk it. You you can walk it. Doesn't matter. You can wheelchair it. You can just travel 5K. That's all you got to do. And um, you unlock different narrative story bits. And Zombies Run obviously is about zombies. But Alistair Stewart and I wrote Wreck Runner, which is about salvage teams running in space. So. We had a lot of fun with that, and that just came out last month, maybe end of July? End of July. Anyway, it's there. So if you are a Zombies Run subscriber, then you have access to Wreck Runner, and I really hope you give it a try. Um, we worked hard on it, and it was a lot of fun. Um, talked about Blake's Ball a lot yesterday. Still kind of blowing my mind. Um... I was going to say something else. Is there anything anybody wants me to talk about? Because I can do that whole uh, feedback thing. If there isn't, I should probably sign off here. You got a couple of seconds to let me know. I'm trying to let the lag catch up. I'm not sure where the lag is right now. But thank you all for uh, supporting me. And maybe instead of supporting my Patreon, if you're, if you're on the fence, maybe support my Extra Life campaign to support Duke Children's Hospitals. I'm trying to make $500, and I kind of stalled out at $290, really hoping to at least hit that $500 mark. Um, I was delighted when I heard that people were using streaming to make money for really good causes. And... Uh, I would love to be able to say I made some money for Duke Children's Hospital. And um, there are a lot of other worthy things to earn money for these days, especially with the explosion in Lebanon and the hurricane in Louisiana and East Texas and on and on and on. and Anyway, <laughs> all the bad stuff. You all know what the bad stuff is. I don't need to list it. But, um, waiting, waiting to, wait, waiting, if I were just recording, I'd cut that part out. That was embarrassing. 
waiting for my new phone to arrive, then hoping to play Rec Runner. I hope you enjoy it and enjoy the new phone. It is, it is good times. But wish me luck this afternoon. I hope to finish the dang book and then send it off and be done until the next edit comes in. But, um, and then, you know, cake and then another project because it doesn't stop. But this is being live streamed on twitch.tv slash mighty Everybody watching knows this, but if you're listening to this on the feed, on the RSS feed, and you are interested in watching me live, the I stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 12.30. So I hope to catch you on Thursday. I also do gaming streaming. I do Stardew Valley and Had a Full Boyfriend right now. And um, I that's uh, Thursday nights and Sunday afternoons. Uh, all times are Eastern Daylight. So, uh, if you want to know more about me, Mighty Mer, no, that's the email address. Mighty Mer at gmail.com is the email address. I also would cut that out. And uh, Merverse is where my website is. It's one R, rhymes with fur, pretty easy to spell and say, despite evidence, evidence to the contrary. Of course, I can't say evidence to the contrary, so who am I to judge? Anyway. Thank you all for watching this live. Thank you all for subscribing via the RSS feed. Thank you for supporting the Patreon or supporting Extra Life and um, Duke Children's Hospitals. And I will see you in two, two days. And until then, you should be writing. And if you can't write, go to Sweater Town and then come back and try again. If you don't know what Sweater Town is, Google Gravity Falls and Sweater Town and you will see what Sweater Town is. Take care. Remember, you can support the show at patreon.com slash I should be writing theme music provided by John Emilio. You can find more about him at johnemilio.com. This podcast is distributed under a Creative Commons Attribution Share-Alike License. But I should be right.